I'm gonna open these tin snips right now with the scissors, uh, the package. Twisting. Yeah, it's not not cutting. Keep at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay in one spot for a while. See if you can break Keep, through. Keeps on at it. Yeah, yeah. I think I might need to like step on it or something. <laughs> it just twists in the, uh, it's starting to go though. A little bit. ways to go I don't know it's made like a little try try going more to the bait like like a larger down here yeah, yeah. yeah I think the thing is it just like twists <laughs> see I got like a little bit of the metal peeled back there but show me again Right here, that little piece peeled mm -hmm. back and it started to crack a little, but there's like eight layers or so of metal. Okay. Yeah, so when I was trying to cut it, the problem I was having was the lock was a little loose and I would put the tin snips around it and all the way back where it would really cut the best and then as I squeeze the tin snips it would just slide between the two the two sides of the tin snips and be kind of stuck in there and lose all of its cutting power so i tried to kind of go perpendicular to it but it still just didn't yeah every time it just does that it kind of slides in between my name is nico and we're about to text, test out the auto locks hex band see if we can cut it with these little tin snips. We're gonna get a fresh pair of tin snips over there. So yes, we'll use those up. Okay, so go ahead. So those are fresh tin snips, right? Fresh tin snips here. See if we can uh, get it cut open. <laughs> Try pulling it tighter, see if that makes a difference. Yeah.
It's not going anywhere. <laughs> You want to call it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. It's not even budging. So tell me what the experience is. What's happening? Uh, tin snips are just sliding off the edges, and it's not really catching at all on the little Kevlar bead to give any leeway. Cut the rubber open beyond that. It's not doing it. <laughs> not doing the job with the tin snips. And your forearms are a little sore. Yeah, a little sweaty. <laughs> all right. For sure. Split it, but barely got through the top layer. Yeah, wow, that works well. Yeah, it held up a lot better than I thought. Right. I'm Kyle. I spent a lot of time like riding around the world and going bikepacking, and I worked at bike shops on and off um, in those years as well. So, lots of cycling experience. I have heard of the auto lock, actually. Yeah, um, I've seen it around, but never used one until now. So I've got this. Brand new pair of Wiz um, multi-purpose snips. I've had like four bikes stolen while in Portland, all different ways, all different kinds. I locked them all up, so let's see if I can uh, flip the script here. I mean, I don't even know if I'm making any progress at all. Yeah. Haven't even haven't even got a bit on the on the metal. I mean the the rubber, sure. Feel good about getting through the rubber, but yeah, I'm not getting any real any purchase on this at all whatsoever. So I feel great. I feel confident on the side of the non thief, of a, a non thief. I'm a proponent for non theft of bicycles. And it seems like auto lock is too because it's um, not letting me steal although there might be you know more advanced techniques to this but I'm pretty sure wire snipping is is just basically doing what I'm doing now which is trying to scissor through something so yeah, I don't know I think it's uh I think it's uh I don't think I'm gonna get any further here I mean potentially if I was like on a desert island and it was like I had to get this bike off the lock in order to like ride it off the island I don't know how you know whatever let's just let's just put it on a it's a desert island where a bike can functionally take you off the island I probably could get through it over time but man I don't I don't know if I have the time to do that today <laughs> all right okay so you've used a lot of locks yeah yeah what do you think I mean I've actually been pretty kind of kind of interested in these I know for um I refuse to be that uh, I know that they have like a mount that goes on the saddle and like I think for some of my nicer rigs I would definitely like want to have it. I mean my mind is always like locks are you know if somebody wants to get in your bike I mean if I was really wanting to get this I'd maybe go get like a circular saw or something and come back and go to town um, but you for a coffee shop or for you know giving me some sense of, of peace of mind yeah I, I'm into it so like Proofs in the pudding, I guess. Or in the straps, straps in the lock. I don't know. <laughs>